All right, crew, today we're going to look at the W6800 from AMD, the Radeon Pro workstation gray GPU, W6800, right? And we're going to be testing it out in SolidWorks Visualize. So let's go ahead and open up a model and take a look. All right, so here I have my task manager on the right-hand side, so we can take a look at the GPU, the usage, how much RAM we're using, and so on. Full disclosure here, I'm running the AMD Threadripper 3990X in 64-core mode. So SMT is disabled, not running all 128, just maximizing the logical cores. I'm running 128 gigs of motherboard RAM. And then our AMD Radeon Pro W6800 has 32 gigs of VRAM. Awesome. You can see of which right now between my recording software um, and Visualize, that uh, we are taxing it for about 14 gigs worth, right? So if you're opening up these really large render files, um, be sure to check how many, how many uh, gigs you're using when you open it. Because if you're exceeding your gigs, the handshake between the motherboard RAM and the VRAM is very slow. Also, this can cause crashing too. So you gotta make sure you pair your visualize with the right graphics card dependent on your files, right? Cool. Another thing I went ahead and changed in my uh, task manager, which I feel like does a pretty good job at showing us what's going on, is I changed this graph from, I believe it was high priority 3D to compute zero. And compute zero is essentially what Visualize is utilizing for the active render in the UI. Um, so we're gonna be able to look at the overall GPU usage. Um, keep in mind I'm recording right now too, so some of the usage is, is being used there, but then we're going to be able to look at compute zero and that's really just all visualize. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give this render a go. We're going to get this thing started. I'm at 13, 14 passes. It's spooling up at about one pass a second. This is 4k monitor and I'm running my resolution in full HD. So there are, there's a lot of stuff to render here. Who doesn't like a big robot in a living room? I mean, come on. Let's have a robot, right? Certainly Musk thinks it's a good idea. Why not have a robot? <laughs> so this, I like this robot a lot. One, there's a lot of components. Two, there's a lot of transparency. Anytime you have transparency inside of Visualize, it's definitely going to be working a lot harder because the light isn't just bouncing off the surfaces. It's also passing through the surfaces. So this is a lot of work, right? We can see our compute zero now has spooled up to about 85%, 87%. We're getting about eight passes a second and a total of about 360 passes since we, since we started. Now, it's really important that you have compute zero loaded up here because at a first glance, you're thinking like, oh, Visualize, Visualize is only using 21% of my, my GPU. Definitely not the case, right? It's using 80% of compute zero, which is essentially if we had to equate it to the competitors would be in that CUDA core category, right? So if you're running an NVIDIA card, you change this to CUDA. If you're running an AMD card, you change this to Compute Zero. And then you can really see what your graphics card's doing for you here. Okay, at about 650 passes, this thing's looking really cool. I got some really gnarly shadows on the ground, right? Um, and I, I really like this shadow here that's from the building because it really allows you to see some of the complexity that's actually being rendered here. And so it's not just the physical model, it's the shadows that are being casted from the illumination above onto the actual scene that we've created on the back plate we chose to throw in. So this is really, really cool stuff. And to be honest, this was a one button click besides the fact that I changed the, the, uh, the color of this plastic to green because I just like green better, I don't know. So I've been using the Radeon Pro 6800 a lot, a lot, a lot in SolidWorks. And I would say maybe once or twice a week in Visualize for a couple hours a day. And I, I've just had really good success with it. Everything's working and driving and grooving the way it should. Denoiser is working excellent. I have plenty of RAM to open up, not just my files, but a loss, also a lot of my customer files, which have been much larger. I think the largest one I've opened up recently was about 24 gigs of VRAM. So let's talk about Visualize just real quick for a second here. I'm going to pause this rendering 
and we're going to look at the options just so we can compare. I'm running the AMD Radeon Pro Pro Render. I've turned off my CPU rendering and just activated only GPU rendering. And again, my max and my resolution of my viewport here is 1920 by 1080. So that's definitely a step up for me um, in the past. I've always usually stuck to the 720, but with this extra real estate on my 4K screen, I really like the 1080 resolution. Of course, uh, Denoiser is enabled. I have it enabled um, both for active rendering and for, um, you know, behind the scenes rendering. And I have lots of real estate. Everything's everything's been working really good with the 6800. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that it works both in SolidWorks and Visualize. Um, it would have kind of been a bummer if it didn't work in one or the other. But, uh, you know, for the last six months, no complaints. Definitely a very valid workstation card for the money. I think it's direct competition for the RTX A5000. I'm sure, it costs more. The A5000 costs more. And it has a little extra stuff in it. But the thir the the 32 gigs of RAM... I would rather have more RAM personally. Um, 32 gigs with the 6800, Radeon Pro 6800, and then just a price savings of about 600 bucks really makes this a kind of sweet spot for the visualized users that are out there. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you learned something new. This was a good look at what the AMD Radeon Pro W6800, it's a mouthful, but it's worth it can do for you in in uh, Visualize. Um, also check out my other video for SolidWorks, right? What it can do for you in SolidWorks. And I think it comes in at a very fair price, especially when you compare it to the competition. So check it out, see, see for yourself, pick one up if that's what you decide to do and uh, let me know what you think of it, right? Put it in the comments below. Hey, this is Adam Hughes, thanks for watching.